Hello everyone, this is Iqbal Khan and today we are having a photo shoot of my bonsai trees. This is a slightly different photo shoot from the one I had previously. These are movie makers, there's Bernard and Kirk and one assistant and they are taking photos of my bonsai trees to be used in a movie which will be an animation and that's all I can tell you about uh, their project and we'll head over and catch them uh, in the process of uh, taking the, their photos. They are taking a photo of uh, my Lonisra and uh, they're using a blue background as the trees will then be put together using a movie making software and they will create the appearance of a rainforest and as I said earlier it's an animation movie and that's their assistant holding the blue background board against which all photographs will be taken. That's Kirk, he's the director and uh, Vat in black is the producer Barnaby. Let's say Japanese white pine which is being photographed now. It's incredible the amount of time which they are taking and then once they have done that it will all be redone uh, using a software program to uh, put all the trees together to create a rainforest. This is a U which is being photographed now We're taking um, photos from different angles, close-ups and uh, it's quite unusual what they're doing. I haven't seen it done before. Normally, um, I've seen photos taken of trees, say full shot, and that's that. But I suppose it's the purpose for which these photos are being taken. And uh, with a view to making a movie and these trees will be put together, the photos will be put together, and uh, they will then come up with a movie. Let's cook, rearranging the tree. Let's yeah. start with the yew tree and that's the base of the trunk. And gradually moving up. Planes are flying again. That's more kit coming out. <laughs> Just brought out some more kit to increase the size of the background. Yeah. Well, it's still got shot. No, you're fine. If you want to hold it from the side, then. Is it alright? 
there. <laughs> They are now photographing this beautiful juniper with uh, dead wood uh, planted on a slab and I will try to put in after each clip the photos that they have taken so you can see what's going on. Um, well that's the plan anyway. This is a base of uh, a Chinese elm group planted on a slate. On the ground you had some whatever tracking markers. So all this four grass stuff you the ground, you can camera yeah. through it, then you track them up and put a fake whatever else you want to do. And then you've got all these sort of uh, Oversized droplets of water. Yeah. See so what look, I mean, I don't know whether you might, you know, sure, you can't the top branches throw the scale a bit. Oh, the very top one. Those are there. Yeah. I can. Uh, you just grab that We are now photographing a group of <laughs> Zelkova. So if I crop out those top branches, you don't, don't mind, because otherwise yeah. it'll sort of. Yeah. Make sure you get the bottom stuff in. Yeah. That's the base. And there's a cute little flower. Try and zoom in. Here we are. And it goes on. What's interesting? What's interesting about this photo shoot is that uh, the trees are being photographed in a way very different to the way normal bonsai trees are photographed. And uh, again, uh, I'm learning from this photo shoot and. Uh, completely new ideas, new ways of looking at trees. This is a Japanese maple, Shishigashira. It has very small leaves and this is my 
sort of shot on it and it'll be interesting to see how Bernard and uh, Kirk photograph, graph it. Again, as I said earlier, the way they are doing it is very, very different to the way we bonsai people photograph our trees. Let's take close up of the leaves. Try to zoom out. Yeah, it's, it's quite sudden, so I would have to think about that. You just have to think um, if I you know, um, can do that for Halloween, basically. Because, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you can see somebody completely up for it, then go for it. Because, as I said, like, I'm. Yeah, it's just because I've been having that. Oh, actually, let me just think because I the. Um, yeah, let me think about that, alright? So I just have it on my mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you call Holly May at all? Ah, oh, no, she has her own car. Yeah. 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 This is the base of the trunk. This is a field maple uh, root on rock style. It does need repotting, and at some stage I'll get round to doing it. And that's the top of the tree. This is an excellent plant, a bit large, or a large excellent plant, and it also has a flower at the top, it has the flower at the top of it. That's a crab apple, zoom up slowly. This tree has uh, many little apples. We'll try and sort of uh, focus in on the right where the, where the apples are and just zoom in and note where the apples are. At least they're all over the tree, but this is where there's a cluster of them. That's the crab apples. And as you can see, there are three people involved with uh, the shot of uh, a tree. And uh, yeah, um, I just can't wait to see the shots that they've taken, and I'll try to incorporate them in this video. This is a ficus and uh, it's one of my smaller ficuses, it uh, has a lot of surface roots. Yeah. Yeah. That, that tree is giving each other? Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is more, probably this way. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> this is a ficus, one of my smaller ones. It has lots of surface roots and uh, I had uh, completely pruned the top uh, to reduce the height of the foliage. The leaves have come back and uh, it's looking quite good. So zoom in onto the base. That's the base of the tree. And let's just gently
as the team to holding the screen and uh, I'll be taking the photos. That's the other side of the tree that's been turned round and again we'll try and get to the base of the tree. That's the base of the tree. Quite an interesting trunk and surface roots and that's the whole tree. That's my juniper root planting. It's in the process of being sorted out. Zoom in. And here comes a plane on cue and they're very noisy. Today they have changed the flight path and we are plagued by the planes. Anyway, I have to carry on doing what I'm doing and uh, we'll have to stop shortly. That's a close up of the trunks at the soil level. This is a Chinese elm group which I recently tidied up and there's a video on this on YouTube. Just uh, zoom in into the base of the trees. Try and get as close as I can and then move sideways. That's uh, Barnaby's head. He is just in front of me taking the photos. And go to the top. The trees are, have been listed to uh, create the rain effect as uh, the project involves a rainforest and Kirk has just turned the tree round and he's misting it again. Right, they are set for a further few photos. I'm sure they're taking many, not just a few. Slip off the tongue. And that's all three. That's the team checking their photos. That's right. Yeah, I think so. This is a view of one of my benches and the trees are packed up very very tightly and close together and uh, not really able to appreciate when they are so tightly packed together they have to be separated and viewed individually anyway that's one of the benches